Oh brother, oh brother. Okay, so I don't really even know where to start this video from. Now, before we actually get into anything, I do want to say Type Soul revamped has been amazing. So far, it has been amazing. The changes, the ads, usually everything up till now has been spot on. On the most part, everything's been perfect. The game has expe exceeded, I said exceeded, exceeded my expectations for the revamp. And as to numbers, we're averaging 40k on weekdays and 60k on weekends. This game is doing phenomenally. As well as that, the future big updates, Hell, and you guys do know, Hell may have a permadeath instance, high risk, high reward, on top of the features coming with it the the true bonk eyes and the uh, holy slaves and things of that nature it, we may even get a faction nobody's hinted at getting the extra faction but we may even get extra faction there's a lot coming to the game to look forward to and there's a lot that's going to happen with this game the developers have done an amazing job i'm not gonna lie every single one of them and even with this current terrible update in in the it, the update's terrible, if I'm being honest, in my opinion. Even with this current terrible update, me and a lot of other people still trust the developers and we love the direction the game is heading in and we're gonna ride the journey out. That's all we can do. Not gonna lie, I felt like quitting the game yesterday night, but that's irrelevant. I trust and believe the developers are gonna lead the game down the right path. We're grateful for the, for the three, four weeks that we've had with the game. Honestly, it's been fun. It's been fun. I haven't touched grass at all, bro. So shout out to the developers. But now let's get into what we're really here about. Whatever the heck this update is what we're here about. Now, if you are not already knowing, I'm probably just going to break this into separate parts and just speak about it. I'm not going to take any notes. You're going to know my raw, authentic uh opinions on everything so let's just get straight into this let's start about the boss drops the mythical boss drops they have all been gutted to the ground and it's not even like a good gut like they nerfed it so hard to the point where it's just like wait why did i just no life these bosses in order for the things i grinded for to get completely gutted hello does that even hello now i'm not gonna lie to you it was a little bit overtuned Maybe some of the drops were a little bit overtuned. I kind of liked how good it was because these were meant to be mythical drops. The first boss farming mythical drops in the game. I, I think I think it was pretty good. Now, I'm not going to lie, the developers probably did this because in hell there's going to be new bosses added to the hell area and those are going to be the more powerful drops, you know? They don't want to have these super overtuned and then hell would have to be even more overtuned to match that pace. So they probably did this in order to prepare for the upcoming update and the drops that are going to come with that. To a certain extent, I can see beyond what's already in front of us. I can see, you know, future side. I can see things in the long run, you know, how it would help the game in the long run. So it's not too bad. However, if you're going to tune down, nerf or gut any of the boss drops that we grinded for, I'm not going to lie to you. You should make them tradable again. Keep you don't have to tune them back up. You can keep them the way they are and make them tradable. I assume the only reason they weren't tradable before is because they were overtuned. And if the community just had an abundance of things getting traded, it would just throw the economy out of whack. But now that these things have gotten nerfed down, allow us to trade. If you don't want to allow us to trade, at least let us store them in our storage. We can't even send them to our other slots. Allow us to put this in our storage. It doesn't make sense that we can't store these items in the first place, boosted or not. So you're going to tune them down, not allow them to be stored and not allow them to be traded. Like what's the point of grinding them? Genuine question. So I'm not going to lie to you. Obviously, you're not going to tune it back up. Let's leave them the way they are, honestly. But at least allow us to trade, if not store the items. As well as that, if you're going to change the mythical hey. boss drops, you need to then Listen. tune every single other drop in the game. Not just the other legendaries, not just the other unobtainables. You need to go through every single one of the legendaries, rares, whatever the case may be, and tune them accordingly. Because now some of the drops that were in the game before are better than the drops that just got added to the game which absolutely makes zero sense 
so that needs to be looked at like in abundance every single boss drop that's legendary mythical unattainable whatever the case may be needs to be looked at properly and assessed to what stats should be put in them and tuned accordingly you can't just nerf one and then have to get thing that's been in the game for longer i think eisen's eye patch looked better than some of the new stuff like hello that's been in the game since last year everything needs to be looked at and tuned accordingly moving on to something that doesn't affect the whole player base we're talking about something that that hurts the rankers pretty badly the caliber nerf nerf that's not the word for this the caliber gut at this point you may as well delete the weapons from the game because just like yukiora's sword they're never going to be used again they're never going to be used again now when yukiora's sword's crit got taken out i was against it but i didn't really voice my opinion because i was never using those weapons in the first place however caliber just got added i don't even know if we could say up to a week ago caliber just got added bro and now it's completely useless it's not like it's, it's not usable again you may as well delete it from the game taking away its crit is one thing taking away its crit is everything what's the point of a critical strike if it doesn't block brick <laughs> there's no there's no point of it there's, there's, it's useless i'm not gonna lie as powerful as a lot of the crits are in the game making a crit not block break and i'm speaking for everything even win shonko i know i know i hate win shonko players too i hate hakuda players in general i'm not gonna lie to you however making a crit not crit takes away the point of having a crit critical strikes are meant to block break that's the whole point of critical strikes in any video game that has a crit i've never heard of a crit or a heavy attack not block breaking it doesn't make sense cool caliber's crit got taken away and not only that you took away that caliber's crit was able to proc your vast no buffs whether it was resetting your dodge frame or healing or giving the hierio you took away it being useful now i would have understood taking away one or the other you took away the critical strike so you kept the buff reset the variant reset that would have made sense or you took away the variant reset and kept the crit it would have made sense it would have made sense having both of those makes it a little bit overtuned. taking away one is a nerf taking away both makes the weapon useless not only that the m1 speed got lowered so it's just not worth using it's just not worth using there's no point of using it it's it's silly the weapon is a legendary that is worse than a common now it's a legendary that is worse than a common there's no point of this being a legendary weapon you may as well take it out of the game so what needs to be done with caliber instead of completely gutting it <laughs> this is you may as well either delete it or make it useful in some way shape or form either tune up the attack speed completely and i mean completely make the attack speed viable because if it doesn't have a crit and it doesn't proc the buffs anymore and the attack speed is slow what's the point in using the weapon if you at least buff one of the nerfs it will make the gun viable again you don't need to put all three back you don't need to put two of them back but tune up one of them and only one that makes sense from a developer standpoint, I would assume, is the attack speed. And I'm not saying tune it up or change it back to... I'm not saying change it back to what it was normally. I'm saying tune it up completely. Uh, I'm not saying make it the fastest attacking thing in the game. But guns are meant to be faster than daggers. Do with that information as you will. You're not taking a, a sword or a dagger into a gunfight, are you? So why the heck are my caliber is useless? Tune up the caliber, completely tune it up, or just delete it from the game. Um, me personally, I felt like soul ticketing my build, and I know a lot of people that feel exactly the same way. I saw a comment saying they want to quit the game because of the caliber nerfs, and it's not a nerf, you gutted it. Stop completely gutting builds. If you're gonna nerf something, nerf it. Don't throw the whole thing in the trash can. Please, please. Just other things that I don't really care much about. Um, the storage thing where you click at the bottom and it sends you back to the top is still there. I don't know if anyone's mentioned that. It's still there. They haven't fixed it. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Please fix it. Not that big of a deal though, but it's annoying. Uh, balance is actually pretty powerful now. <laughs> Guys, balance is crazy now. It is actually worth 
keeping i did tell people that roll balance to not roll off of it whether you listen to me or not is your problem balance is now actually mythical tier with the changes and buffs to it not gonna lie yeah you can almost last forever in a fight uh superstar getting nerfed I never thought Superstar was that crazy in the first place. However, the nerfs do look significant. So if you're a Superstar player, RIP. Uh, honestly, RIP. And Ranked is still bugged. I'm not going to lie to you. Ranked is still bugged. And apparently some of the bosses don't have drops. I don't know if uh, they should have been added to the game. They don't have drops. So just want to say GG that this arguably the worst update Type Souls had. However, I do believe the devs will fix it in due time. And on top of that, we have a lot to look forward to with Type Soul. Obviously, I'm just spreading my opinion. This isn't hate towards the game. I still love Type Soul. Look at the hours I put in. But, um, you know, if you're not honest and direct, bad decisions will keep getting made so you know shout out shout out to the developers honestly i fuck with them they're, they're pretty down to earth pretty humble i respect it a lot and um these guys work hard they do work hard they're bringing out updates after updates if you guys i know the devs probably feel pressure you guys don't have to bring out updates every uh, couple days you know we can keep it weekly you know what i'm saying we can keep it a week and a half I mean, two weeks might be a bit too long i don't want to say two weeks but you know weekly like week week and a half we don't have to do every couple of days we appreciate the hard work the patches the the pushes and additions there's been a lot of additions uh our rankers have been highly favored above a lot of other races but um yeah you guys keep working hard can't wait to see benny hime <laughs> Someone say Benny Hime? What's that? I wasn't meant to get added. Can't wait to say can't wait to see Benny Hime added to the game. Honestly, see what that looks looking like. Hopefully, like one or two new legendary weapons get added for the for the for the saw rapers and things of that nature. The Quincy K DNC. Um, but yeah, honestly, GG. I just need to get this video out there. No, turn into a little yap session. I'll put timestamps for you guys. I just thought these were important opinions that need to get talked about. You know, I know a lot of other things got taken out the game. Quincy, the Quincy skill got to completely taken out the game. There's a lot of things a lot of people don't like about this update, but we will, we will get past this rough patch. We will, we will. Um, we're waiting for hell, waiting for more information on hell. That will be super cool. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I need a message on it developers to give me cc rolls i'm seeing all the content creators in the sky and i'm just on the ground like a regular civilian let me see y'all boys in the next one love and appreciate y'all hey man type souls killing it better than every game on the roblox platform right? peace